Wow. You haven't Not even scary. a sniff. Oh, goodness. I just... I don't know who to believe. Oh, goodness me. I can't bear to look at the three of you like this. I'm gonna go somewhere else for some fresh air. And she kind of leaves the scene but not before she, she kind of heads out stage right but another figure comes through the door <gasps> this is a figure that you remember this is a a person that you recognize <gasps> it's him no it's <gasps> the one the only <laughs> the one the only no good lily licking nostril picking dust kicking grave digging clock ticking coward chicken toilet sitting Son of a biscuit eater, the mayor of Sweetwater, Mr. Bones Malone, a very well-groomed, very lanky, but well-dressed gentleman with nice Bones combed hair, uh, exits the door and stands before you all with his hands behind his back and a slight smile curls along his lips. And and he, he smiles at you and welcomes you and all and says, it took you quite a long time to get here. But I'm so glad at last to make your acquaintance for the first time in a long time. Especially you, Mrs. <gasps> for <gasps> former Mrs. Bones <laughs> Malone. What was your name again? Oh, goodness That's gracious me. Mrs. Jeliope to you! <laughs> <laughs> you rotten-hearted, pompous, two-timing, cotton-headed, dim-witted, mealy-mouthed, doggone, dastardly, pretentious, good-for-nothing, licentious, salacious, bug <laughs> Goodness gracious me, says Bones Malone, who looks like this, by the way. This is what Bones Malone looks like. <laughs> oh, what a disgusting man! You look like you eat nothing for breakfast. <laughs> Actually, this morning I had I had a bit of uh, sausage and beans <gasps> and toast, Lame. as per as is the usual as is the usual cuisine of my country's my country's breakfast. <laughs> What a, what I a always of... hated that accent of yours. <laughs> <laughs> He's British. <laughs> oh yes, I came from such a far away land to be here amongst all of you savage people. You do not deserve savage to be in the West. <laughs> oh yes, as, the West. What a terrible place. As the place. wind blows, I catch a whiff of his scent, and and the hat raises from my head, and I'm like. Wait, <laughs> you smell, you smell familiar. And then, and then I sniff the handkerchief around my, my, <laughs> my neck and I'm like, No, it can't be. Bill, no, no, you are British. You have what you have one fact wrong in this in this little in this little play of yours, you see. I'm not your father. In fact, I am your brother. <laughs> yes. It's been quite a long time since we've last met each other, but it was on the boat on a stormy night as we were coming to this country, me and my family, and you you were to be the sole heir of the fortune of the Malone <gasps> family. 
But I could not have that. No, no, no. Then I would have lost everything. I would have lost my chance at, at uh, becoming something important. Someone, yes, someone important in this, in this land of brutal savages. And so, I tossed you from the boat as you were a babe swaddled in your, in your clothes. No. In no. your baby carriage. And off you floated. On the ocean, I should not have done that. I really should have just talked <laughs> instead of putting you in the carriage. Dang it, what an idiot I am. <clears throat> anyway, I, I tossed you from the boat, but little did I know that that carriage carries you all the way to the shore, and it was a shore by a pack of wolves, it would seem. You know, since you're a dog, whatever. Bones I'll Malone never seems very call smart. you my only chance. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I won't request that of you anyway, because all of you are about to become my playthings. Yes, yes. If you all, what does he mean by that? Follow me. Bones Malone snaps his fingers. Tut tut. Right this way, I'll show you to your brand new home. He says as he takes a sip from the whiskey.